What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm cool. It's a King Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to talk about the season premiere of Supergirl right now. It was great. Like, it had too many of those scary season 4 CW Arrowverse curse things like Kara being unnecessarily happy. Oliver and Flash were <laughs> suffering through that same syndrome. What else did it have? And it felt so rushed, like so many scenes jump from scene to scene to scene to scene. Then you got John doing his guru thing, which was understandable, but also like, come on, man. Come on, man. She just told you this. All the aliens. Like you wanted to keep your foot on the ground, and now you say, I'm not even going to touch the ground unless... I really necessarily have to and only when I have to but I don't have to fight. Alex was an interesting character as the lead of the DEO. I liked her this season premiere. I liked the season premiere didn't like a lot of the characters. Brainiac was cool. My favorite character was Lena. Lena's chess move was phenomenal. Oh my god. But her mother smart. Jim Olsen was I had. <laughs> uh, Kara's new underling was cool. Like everybody was somewhat cool, but not great. The story was great though. Agent Liberty showed flames, yo. Shit. There's some things I didn't understand, like how you do things at a global scale, like exposing the president for being alien. Then he'll just kill a random alien. Like, does he need to? Like scratch that itch in his back like yo if I don't kill an alien in 24 hours I'm gonna go crazy like I didn't understand him kill exposing the president then just killing a random alien who was just having like therapy sessions for other aliens like <laughs> those two did not correlate with me um Superman's off world like how the show always uses Superman to make Supergirl look better. That was sarcasm. I don't like that ish. They always kind of diminish Superman in a way to make Supergirl look higher. Which I feel they don't need to do. Supergirl is a phenomenal character as a whole. But they, they always hitting those light jabs, yo. <laughs> you see if you binge watch the show how much jabs they do. I mean, like, fuck, they had two season finales where that dude was brainwashed. They gave him the Hawkeye Avengers treatment twice. Duh. <laughs> anyway, it's still great. It's still like 8 out of 10. I'm looking forward to the season. Still scared of the season 4 curse. So savage they didn't give her a new suit. She's the only one who go in the fourth season with no new suit. Maybe that's the change. Maybe the new suit is the curse. <laughs> who knows? Uh, anyway, I really enjoyed it, but a lot of nitpicky things, like too many. <laughs> Another thing I feel I should add with Supergirl is that it seems like the whole sort of twin liberty, alien, you know, the world divided situation is the target audience is America. Like, the writers are taking from personal experiences through their day to day life, like they're seeing the injustice and all that, and they're putting it down. So the re it's relatable more from their standpoint, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you understand what I'm saying. Like the racial, the racial te tensions, we have them too. Like we, it's relatable in a sense, but more for them. You know what I'm saying? Because they currently going through it in the most public manner. Us is underneath, but. You really, I can relate to it, but if you get what I'm saying, like it's personal. It's a personal story for Americans. More personal for Americans. It's not totally relatable for Americans, but I'm just saying it's more personal for American people. For right now, if you get what I'm saying. I feel like I'm clear. I'm just making it worse by continuing, but you get what I'm saying.